Wake up, sleeper, your love stands near. Comfort awaits at the side of your bed. Get up, brush off your grief, not one more tear. Hi, my name is Delia Olam and I am the writer, composer and performer of Just Let the Wind Untie My Perfumed Hair or Who is Tahiri? And I'm Joanne Hartstone and I'm the director, producer and presenter of Just Let the Wind Untie My Perfumed Hair or Who is Tahiri? So this play is the true story of a mid-19th century Persian woman who removed her veil in the company of her male peers in a public setting and then proceeded to champion equality of all kinds, claiming the sin of speech until she was eventually martyred for her beliefs. Her lifetime predates any of the Western suffragette movements. Mm. So by the time she was executed, that was before even South Australia had become aware of the suffragette movement mm. of the right to vote for and equality for women. It, she really is a pioneer yeah. uh, in the world of equality. Yeah. Just Let the Wind Untie My Perfumed Hair or Who Is Tahare is a solo show performed by Delia. Uh, it's a series of monologues of different characters of the people around Tahare in her life, and it's interwoven with Tahereh's original poetry set to original music, performed and composed by Delia Olam. Uh, so you see the series of events in her life leading up to her execution, uh, beautifully interwoven by her words. And those songs I have recorded and are um, in the process of becoming an album which should be available after the shows in Edinburgh and um, be released later in the year as an album in their own right. I have been peripherally aware of her story since I was a child and um, growing up in a Baha'i home, but um, it seems like often her story had been told in small cut away tidbits, that she was beautiful, that she was a poet, that she was wanted by the king, that she went to her death dressed all in white like a bride and that she was a victim to this cruel world. But when I was commissioned to do a production of this work in the lead up to the 100th anniversary of International Women's Day a few years ago, I um, started doing my own research, discovered that in actual fact she had agency. I was hooked and fascinated by bringing that story to life. And um, after doing a short storytelling version of the story, I got the opportunity through, especially through Honeypot um, at, at the Adelaide Fringe to develop the work a little bit, um, especially the production values, the lighting and the set. And for that opportunity, I got in touch with Jeff Cobham, who is a great lighting designer in South Australia. And he came on board as a creative and we developed over a week. So I first saw Delia in the 2015 Adelaide Fringe and I saw her small scale production. Um, I was really attracted to the story but also very attracted to her voice as a South Australian artist. And so I contacted her or she contacted me and we decided that we would take a bit of a risk and we would develop the show for Edinburgh. So we put on a very small season at the Adelaide Fringe during uh, this year, during the 2016 Adelaide Fringe, and we performed it at the Queen's Theatre, which was really successful, a really beautiful show, and we've been just developing it and nuancing it over the past few months to be able to make it absolutely schmick for Edinburgh. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival is the biggest arts festival in the world. So we need to take it over so that we can truly get this work out on the global stage. But there's another reason why we feel it's right to take this show to Edinburgh. And that's because the UK is in political turmoil and Europe is in a state of unrest. And Australia is in a no man's land. And we do feel that this is a time of change. So what better time 
to remind people that change can happen. And it can happen in a non-violent, beautiful, articulate and intelligent way. It can be respectful and it can be a great starting point for something amazing to happen in the world. Friendship, anger, and hatred, reckon, so